Patriots, welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie O'Sign. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Friday, February 26, 2021. Let's go to Randy for our Black History Spotlight. Bonnie, today we spotlight Barack Obama, who in 2009 became the first black United States president. And in 2021, Kamala Harris became the first woman of the African-Asian descendants to become vice president. Harris's mother moved on to the United States from India, and her father moved from Jamaica. No doubt the U.S. nation is a nation where opportunity became accessible for everyone. We are all one nation. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. One sport which becomes popular mostly every four years at the Olympics, which is also a little misunderstood, is shot put. Shot put is a track and field event which, as the name suggests, involves putting or pushing a heavy ball as opposed to throwing it as far away as possible. The ball is known as the shot and the regulation weight for a shot is 16 pounds. Olympic gold medalist Ryan Crozer of the USA set a new indoor world record of 28.82 meters just last month in Arizona. We will see what he does this summer in Tokyo. Now let's go to Noah for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is cheese pizza, baby carrots, apple slices, and milk. Bon appetit! Now let's go back to Ronnie. Scholars, the I Ready Challenge ends today. Let's congratulate some more of our fellow patriots that have already completed the challenge. <laughs> last chance to pass 30 reading I ready lessons between February 1st and today, February 26th, to join your classmates at the spectacular sub party. We are proud patriots. And coming up just around the corner is March Madness. March 3rd through March 12th, we are pitting class against class in an epic I ready showdown. The incentive will be pizza and ice cream for the winning class. Patriots, the Scholastic Book Fair is going on now. It will run until March 7th. The book fair will be virtual this time around. Ask your parents to join your, you in supporting a school by picking up some awesome books online today. To visit the book fair, click on the link in the description below. Patriots, we continue celebrating Black history. Today we wear our favorite Black musician. Teacher, you can share your pictures and videos with us at RPTV by emailing to pines.renaissance at gmail.com or uploading to the RPTV OneDrive. I can't wait to see your style. And finally, come join us virtually as we celebrate Black History Month with our drama production, Stand Up! Use Your Voice! You can view this show on Renaissance Charter School at Pines' YouTube channel. Subscribe to receive notifications regarding uploaded videos. Now let's see what the weather's going to be like today with David. Thank you, Bonnie. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 84 degrees Fahrenheit and mostly sunny. Looks like the weather is warming up so we can go to a pool party. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, Dee. And here's today's joke of the day. Why did Mickey Mouse take a trip to space? Because he wanted to find Pluto.
Thanks, Samuel. That was great. Today's birthday boys and girls are Mario Mitchell, Yasleen Alvarez, Marcelo Arante Lopez, Brent Crawford Jr., Camila Mendes Carrera, and Jonathan Ramirez. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Vani. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations are represents. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Barrow, Miss Hendrickson, Miss Ian Dinkwa, Miss Clerk, Miss Dry, Miss Newton, Miss Miguel, Miss Kane, Miss Stone, Miss Mainan, Miss Moraz, Miss Anaya, Miss Samuel, and Miss Milholm. You have the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was what four letter word can be written forward, backward, upside down, and still be read from left to right? The correct answer to the riddle was noon. Now for today's riddle, a pet shop owner had a parrot with the sign on its cage that said, Parrot repeats everything it hears. Davery bought the parrot, and for two weeks he spoke to it, and it didn't say a word. He returned the parrot, but the shopkeeper said he never lied about the parrot. How could this be? Again, a pet shop owner had a parrot with a sign on its cage that said, Parrot repeats everything it hears. David, Davery bought the parrot, and for two weeks he spoke to it, and it didn't say a word. He returned the parrot, but the shopkeeper said he never lied about the parrot. How could this be? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a fantastic Friday. And don't forget, remember, reunite, rise. Have a great day!